Yeah, good day, so I had this thing powered up for about five minutes so far. Now the alarm's on. Uh oh, I think I pissed it off. Something max kilowatts. 1936866 kilowatts. Interesting meter, this one. Three off kilowatt hours. 312557 kilowatt hours. It's had some miles on this one. The select button's behind there. So if I get another one of these, it has a bit damaged. See, I might cut, cut it. Actually, I might just cut this one. Yeah, they've got bloody heaps of these bloody EDMI meters there. Eh? Sacrifice one. Take the uh, seal, cut the seals and take this cover off. Have a bit of a tear down. But what's interesting, this actually has an um, armor dot matrix display. That's pretty cool. It may be bad. It does make a good uh, clock and calendar sort of thing there. Eh? Voltage range 57 to 240 volt. Frequency 50 hertz, class 0.55, made in Australia. Electronic design and manufacturing international. EDMI. Still an Aussie company, but um, all the manufacturing is done in, done in Singapore now. And there's now one of the crappier, apparently, there's now one of the crappiest, uh, one of the crappier meters now. So if you want a good, for good, decent quality smart meters or modern electronic meters, let us and are definitely the best. But they're all the bloody same nowadays anyway. That's your backup battery and that's your RST32. Got some other connections here. The phase monitoring, I think. Got some more little uh, connections there. So, let's go to the computer, I think. Base station sends pulses out. Here's some switching MOSFETs on there. Or, uh, not MOSFETs, sorry, um, some sort of bloody regulators of some sort. Positive and negative. Look at a multimeter, see what we're getting out of it. See if anything goes in or what comes out. Alright, so it says 12 volts. So if there's signal, they're sending a signal to something. Hmm. You're yeah, obviously not wired up properly, so the alarm's going off. Anyway, let's uh, open this thing up and see what it's like inside. There's some more uh, lights in there. Very well, my better kit. No, that's just a little, uh, not a button, it's a, oh, it's a receiver. Infrared receiver, programming it. Note, some parts are optional. Consult relevant parts lists. It's not bad for something that used to be made in Australia. There's a button behind there. Not normally fitted. So this is a switch one. Switch two is usually next to it, but she's not there. Tension is on there. Take this face plate off and have a good close look at this thing. Hmm, I wonder what this button does. Nothing. Fit connect to LCD1 after the LCD is screwed to the PCB. Display card. So it's got these instructions on here. Tell on you how it's actually assembled. Look, it's kit built. And I've got a broken LED here. Which looks like it's actually pushed and snapped off its actual uh, footprint. But that's actually how it is. It's been bodged on like that. So. Motorola chips. Chips from Malaysia. Not bad for something that's made in Australia. Shame they don't make it. Nothing like this here anymore though. Hey, okay. I don't know if that resets if I hold that. It's got some bloody... got some miles on it there. This thing's done some miles. A lot of kilowatt hours have been through this thing. Alright, let's uh... There's an LED there, it's on an angle. Let's um... dive into this further. Unplug safety first, of course. Discharging capacitors. Hmm. Smells nice and electronic in here. Smells brand new. There's our mod, basically in three modules. We've got the display board. There's a back, the LCD driver. There's another board, which is all the, the um, programs and the actual brains of the meter. Including on these chips here, 
CPU cards, you thought even. Energy meter Mark III. So this is all the brains of the meter itself. And there's the actual power supply part of it. Interesting. There's a current metering. It's actually probably wired and crimped into place. Little uh, fuse, under fuse there, some capacitors. High quality capacitors. Not an interesting capacitor brand, never seen a capacitor brand before. Focus your bloody camera or sling you. <laughs> interesting brand, but they're all 105 degrees Celsius rating. The components and the quality of the components in this are better than the ones in the bloody um, Lettuce and Guy F350 so called smart meters are supposed to be bloody saving us energy. I've got a backup supply here. So it's actually a 1 farad 5.5 volt supercapacitor. Remember, Matsushita in Japan. Big filter cap, 25 volts, 6800 microfarad. Nippon Chemicon, high quality stuff. Some switching uh, transistors there. Properly secured. Very high quality stuff. All high, high, high temperature rated too. IRC resistors. There must be a little regulator there. Some sort anyway. Electrified diodes. Very high quality bit of kit. This is all isolated, the RST32 uh, section. All the update couplers there. Yeah, very well made bit of kit. Ceramic baker light. Modern um, meter panels are made of this. See, even all you can put slots in it, and you can modulate it. You can build a bloody good power supply inside this thing. It makes a good project enclosure. Good quality stuff. Very well made stuff, this meter. But I do like the analog meters better, but it's interesting to note they actually made things like this in Australia to a good quality standard, too. Not a bad, not a bad bit of kit. Very well, solidly made. Even for the bloody, for an electronic solid state meter, that's a hell of a lot more solidly made than these new bloody smart meters. That's really well made, anyway. That's it, Renee. Up next, we'll check what's inside this one. Thanks for watching.